We welcome you into our Golf Channel studios. Great to have you with us, Anna Jackson, alongside Jaime Diaz, as the biggest story in the game continues to unfold. I mean, Jaime, this is just another example of how seriously the players are taking this threat uh, of the Live Golf Series. Tiger has made his position very clear at the open of his distaste for Live, uh, to say the least. But the fact that he's made the journey, he has arrived and he will be part of this player meeting. How significant do you think that is? Tiger is the most significant figure in golf right now in terms of the leadership that he's providing as an example of what great players have done through the years. You know, he doesn't want to see Live Golf or anything like Live Golf supplant what is considered to be the highest level of competitive golf. That's very sacred to him, not on his watch, so to speak. You know, he's won all these tournaments at 72 holes. That is the test. That's the pressure. That's the hard part. That's the reason it's such a great achievement. You know, he wasn't considered the greatest athlete in the world by other athletes who were in that same category for nothing. It was because he could handle those moments, that pressure moment. And that is what, to him, is great about championship golf and what he wants to make sure continues on without being corrupted in any way. Uh, you know, he, he definitely uh, feels like he said this before, I think, at the Hall of Fame speech to some extent, you know, you earn it in golf. It's all there for you mm -hmm. to deal with the hardest part of it and come through the other end. And, and he also spoke very similarly at the Open Championship when he said, you know, I just don't understand how these guys who have so much ability and have been dreaming about this don't want to keep playing at the highest level among the greatest competitors. That's something that shouldn't be lost in the game. So I just think this is his legacy. He wants to leave something. He wants to be on the right side of history. He wants to make a mark here beyond his playing career. And, you know, his son plays, and that's important to him. He wants him to have that kind of you know, system to play in as opposed to something that he considers to be much less. Yeah, I mean, there's arguably not, no more of a more powerful voice in the game than Tiger Woods. He mentioned he feels like players who have joined Live have sort of turned their back on what has allowed them to get into this position. I mean, Trip, you know what it takes to get out there on the PGA Tour as we welcome in Trip Eisenhower, the third member of our team. First of all, just to get your thoughts on the fact that Tiger has made the effort and he is making it this battle to fight and getting out there and talking about it with the players. Well, again, I, I think it's it's what it means to Tiger Woods, and and it's uh, you know it was always a, a, a Tiger and Phil kind of battle, and Tiger always won those battles. And if you want to uh, mm -hmm. paint it in those terms, Phil's over on the live side, and Tiger's on the tour side, and you know Tiger always got the better of him, and he doesn't want to lose, and and Tiger does not um, want that. So I, I think. How it's going to be, uh, what he, what's going to happen in that meeting, I'm sure there's going to be some, hey, w the tour has not handled this the best way to this point, but let's, let's turn the ship and let's get this right and let's figure out a way to get the tour pointed in the right direction. And, you know, the tour can, the, the weakness in the tour leadership has always been they're very reactive. They're not very proactive. So these are some kind of reactive steps, but they seem to be pointing in a proactive direction. And uh, that's what the tour's got to do because they're going to have to uh, envision a whole new way of the, how the tour's going to operate and, and be structured going forward. And competition, I've said, always makes things better. And at the end, in, in all this turmoil we're going through right now, I think the top players are going to benefit a lot more in the game and the end of this. And I think that's what Tiger ultimately wants to do because I've said it before, and I think many would agree with me with his official earnings tiger is the most underpaid officially uh athlete in history and you know he wants to do something about that and and maybe that maybe there is hey i'm not going to lose this battle either you know trip you've been in so many of these meetings over the years as, as in these in these big moments but this may be the biggest moment i'm just wondering do you feel like there will be a freedom and a spontaneity and a, and a boldness among the players in terms of expressing their opinions and how intense will these conversations be today and how important will they be i think they're going to get you know very intense and i've been in some intense meetings of uh, you know uh, on both tours the corn ferry tour and the pga tour on the player advisory council on both tours uh, the players do speak their mind and you know you're elected to that uh, that position by your peers and it's basically you feel like or at least when I was on it I felt like it was an obligation to you know he carry forward to the leadership of the tour and to the player directors what uh, you know I was hearing when I played with players what I was hearing in the locker room it, it's a fraternity the PGA tour is a fraternity and um, you know you want to take care of your brothers I mean that's really what you want to do and and you voice your opinions 
is this is going to be a raucous one. I, I really think it will be. But at the end, it's it's all pointed towards one thing. Let's make this better. Let's get this right. This is our one chance to do this because we're not going to get a second chance uh, to react to this. We've got to get it right. And Prip, you're saying, you know, that the tour traditionally has been kind of reactive. Uh, do you feel like their response from here on in will be more, if, if not proactive, more responsive, more uh more pay more attention to what the players are saying. Absolutely, and and one of the one of the criticisms, and, and it, here's the thing: the tour could be that way for so long for obvious reasons, and their their reaction was always, and it was an argument that could not be argued with. But they would tell the players, "You don't like where you are, play better," and they were right. You could do that. You could go and you could always better your position with lower scores. There is no question about that. It is the ultimate meritocracy, and I love that about the sport of golf. And I, I, I do know that that was the argument, but it was where else are you going to go? We were kind of the, the you know big kid on the block, if you will. They're not that anymore. They've got some real competition. So now the, the players are saying to the tour leadership, you're going to have to play er better. That's what you're going to have to do now. And the tour, I think, will do that ultimately and we'll see how it plays out and where this goes but uh yeah i think that the players are going to be saying that to the leadership of the tour you need to play her better yeah i mean oh to be a fly on the wall of these meetings this afternoon